Hey everyone, in today's video, we have something absolutely phenomenal to share with you. Get ready to witness a cosmic event that happens once in a lifetime. This summer, astronomers all over the world, both professional and amateur, are keeping their eyes fixed on a small constellation deep in the night sky. But it's not the seven stars of Corona Borealis, the northern crown, that have sparked such fascination. It's a dark spot among them where an impending nova event is about to occur. So bright it will be visible from Earth with the naked eye. Dr. Rebecca Hounsel, an assistant research scientist specializing in NOVA events at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, shared her excitement saying, It's a once-in-a-lifetime event that will create a lot of new astronomers out there. It's a cosmic event young people can observe for themselves, ask their own questions, and collect their own data. It'll fuel the next generation of scientists. The star of the show is T. Corona Borealis, also known as the Blaze Star, or simply TCRB to astronomers. This binary system is nestled in the northern crown, some 3,000 light years from Earth. It consists of a white dwarf, an Earth-sized remnant of a dead star with a mass comparable to that of our Sun, and an ancient red giant that is slowly being stripped of hydrogen by the relentless gravitational pull of its hungry neighbor. So what's happening up there? The hydrogen from the red giant accretes on the surface of the white dwarf, causing a buildup of pressure and heat. Eventually, this triggers a thermonuclear explosion big enough to blast away the accumulated material. For TCRB, this explosive event happens roughly every 80 years. Don't confuse a nova with a supernova, though. While a supernova is a final titanic explosion that destroys some dying stars, a nova event leaves the dwarf star intact, sending the accumulated material hurtling into space in a blinding flash. This cycle can repeat itself over tens or even hundreds of thousands of years. Dr. Hounsel points out, there are a few recurrent novae with very short cycles, but typically, we don't often see a repeated outburst in a human lifetime, and rarely one so relatively close to our own system. It's incredibly exciting to have this front row seat. The first recorded sighting of the TCRB Nova was more than 800 years ago, in autumn 1217, by a man named Burchard, abbot of Erzberg, Germany. He noted his observance of a faint star that for a time shone with great light. The TCRB Nova was last seen from Earth in 1946. Based on its behavior over the past decade, which mirrors the behavior observed leading up to the 1946 eruption, researchers believe the Nova event could occur by September 2024. So what should stargazers look for? The Northern Crown is a horseshoe-shaped curve of stars located west of the Hercules constellation, best spotted on clear nights. It can be identified by locating the two brightest stars in the Northern Hemisphere, Arcturus and Vega and tracking a straight line from one to the other, leading sky watchers to Hercules and the Corona Borealis. The outburst will be brief but spectacular, visible to the naked eye for a little less than a week. Dr. Hounsel is confident it will be quite a sight to see. Dr. Elizabeth Hayes, chief of the Astroparticle Physics Laboratory at NASA Goddard, is also excited about the event. She mentioned the importance of collaboration with amateur stargazers. Citizen scientists and space enthusiasts are always looking for those strong, bright signals that identify NOVA events and other phenomena. Using social media and email, they'll send out instant alerts, and the flag goes up. We're counting on that global community interaction again with TCRB. Hayes is the project scientist for NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope which has made gamma-ray observations from low Earth orbit since 2008. Fermi is poised to observe TCRB when the NOVA eruption is detected, along with other space-based missions including NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, Neil Garrell's Swift Observatory, AXPE, Imaging X-ray Polarimetry Explorer, NUSTAR, Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, NICER, Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer, and the European Space Agency's Integral Extreme Universe Surveyor. Numerous ground-based radio telescopes and optical imagers, including the National Radio Astronomy Observatory's very large array in New Mexico, will also take part. Collectively, these telescopes and instruments will capture data across the visible and non-visible light spectrum. Dr. Hounsel emphasized, we'll observe the NOVA event at its peak and through its decline as the visible energy of the outburst fades. But it's equally critical to obtain data during the early rise to eruption. So the data collected by those avid citizen scientists on the lookout, now for the NOVA will contribute dramatically to our findings. For astrophysics researchers, this promises a rare opportunity to shed new light on the structure and dynamics of recurring stellar explosions like this one. Dr. Hayes added, typically, NOVA events are so faint and far away that it's hard to clearly identify where the erupting energy is concentrated. This one will be really close, with a lot of eyes on it, 
studying the various wavelengths and hopefully giving us data to start unlocking the structure and specific processes involved. We can't wait to get the full picture of what's going on. Some of those eyes will be very new. Gamma ray imagers didn't exist the last time TCRB erupted in 1946, and XP's polarization capability, which identifies the organization and alignment of electromagnetic waves to determine the structure and internal processes of high energy phenomena, is also a brand new tool in X-ray astronomy. Combining their data could offer unprecedented insight into the life cycles of binary systems and the waning but powerful stellar processes that fuel them. Is there a chance September will come and go without the anticipated Nova outburst from TCRB? Experts agree there are no guarantees, but hope abides. Dr. Koji Mukai, a fellow astrophysics researcher at NASA Goddard, remarked, Recurrent novae are unpredictable and contrarian. When you think there can't possibly be a reason they follow a certain set pattern, they do. And as soon as you start to rely on them repeating the same pattern, they deviate from it completely. We'll see how TCRB behaves.